the freaking jungle over here. Come on, bup. You have to knock those pins out. Unless you're uh, creative like Captain Kleeman and make quick attaches for you. Bub. 455 recovery scene Four, one 450 C you got to get it right oh 450 C recovery scene one take one and action all right welcome back to CNC equipment YouTube channel I guess some uh, viewers sent you that a long time ago yeah and, and we just found it been withholding anyway that's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've got something a little different today. You guys probably seen the thumbnail image. We've got another track loader to go recover. So I had a uh, guy stop by the other day. He wanted to know if I wanted to buy a track loader. And I said, how much you want of it? And I bought it and I never even looked at it. Ooh. And it's only six miles up the road. This is the crazy part. So. Ooh, yeah. That's how busy we are. So that was about a month and a half, two months ago. And I just now went and looked at it last night. So mm. supposedly it uh, ran when parked. It's got a... Uh -huh. uh, got a uh, didn't we do one of those just a little yeah, bit Yeah, why, why is it every summer we get one of these? <laughs> Supposedly it starts and runs, but it's got a steel hydraulic line that blowed out. That's why the guy parked it. So we brought some oil. Hopefully we can get it started long enough to get it up on the trailer. But it does have an extra bucket and a set of forks. But we probably can't use the loader to load them. So I don't know if we'll drag them on the trailer in the winter or something. <laughs> we'll figure it out when we get here. But uh, we're going to head up the road and we'll show you what we got. and the forks load up the winch the hard way here lies the old 450c you tell she's been sitting here a while we're going to check some fluids on it dump some hydraulic oil in it and uh, see if she'll fire up and uh, we're just going to drive her straight on the trailer hey does this look familiar <laughs> it's got a winch on it and everything so supposedly we got a hydraulic leak right here 
one of these steel lines so she's been sitting here a couple days and you got trees and dirt growing up around it well I'll back the trailer up close to it and get ready so if we do get it going we can go for one thing I'm worried about Kevin it's kind of sidling right here huh cheaper coppers cheaper coppers oh. it's kind of sidling right here we may have to load it up here in the level but yeah. she'll want to slide off like I'm in a freaking jungle over here. <laughs> At least it's shaded. I guess we got that going for us. <laughs> the plus. Does it need all of it? All of it sounds pretty empty, don't it? Yep. I'm not pouring in too fast, am I? Nope, it's nice and thin today. Got five gallons in the hydraulic tank. We got clean oil. It smells like diesel. We know what that means, don't we? <laughs> it's got diesel fuel and engine oil. We got some pump seals leaking. Definitely got diesel fuel in it. Well, it's not too bad of a fix if the rest of it's good. We all right to start it. I ain't gonna check the antifreeze. We're just gonna get it going. Get it on the trailer. Kevin's over working on batteries. Pretty sure the trees have grown in it. You didn't, there, Bobby. You got the whole down rack and everything in there, huh? This seems like legit. Hmm. Four fifty C two five six three seven zero T. I don't like you that is. Seventies, early eighties. You got go handles on that one. Oh, gosh. Still got the old block in there too. That's a good one. Do you want the negative or positive? Naked back. Perfect. The ground's a little crud, but shut the master. Yeah. Did you bring uh, three eighths nuts? No. Why would I? <laughs> These are five sixteenths nuts. <laughs> Hang on. They're two different sizes. Oh, I got my side. That's all that matters. I bet there's some more in there. Battery come off of it. I had a 5 16 and a 3 8 post. Now we just got to hunt for a 3 8 nut somewhere. I bet there's something down there in the depths. We can make it work. You hit the jackpot, Bobby. Another I know this one's freed up. It's so nice working in the field. You don't have tools to load your buckets and <laughs> we got her. Ground's looking good and green. Don't let stuff like that bother you. Crown's 
Plus, they're not even. Who is ground anyway? You know this is an old machine when it says negative ground only. They're still warning people about that. <laughs> people probably don't know what we're talking about. And green John Deere. All right. Let's leave this stuff here. If I get it fired up, I'm going to take you straight to the trailer, bub. Come on, bub. You got it. It's going to work. I can feel it. Come on, Nelly. And it's got to be good, right? Let's let's just jump back. He's a leaker. You're good. You're good. Well. All right, she's all on there, loaded down, chained down. We're gonna head back to shop. We got about six miles to go. Hey, it must be cold in here. Your windows are fogged up. Um, it's a good way to get I, pneumonia. Today. I turned her on cold. It's cold. <laughs> it's freaking humid outside. Yeah. You even sweated through your super clean shirt. But um, she's she's wet. Okay, we're gonna head back.
sweet home, but that wasn't very far, was it? No. Especially you think for a guy these would people. go look at a machine that he bought before he paid for it. Nah, that it's six best. miles from home. It's best this way. It's like eBay. Everybody's hard at work. And they are now. They've seen us. That's right. Look at them super sweet jumps, bub. Ta da! Tell about my truck you broke? No, you broke it. But I did two complete revolutions and a backflip and landed. That's right, double backflip. But the sweetest one of all, right there. Shorty truck. Oh, hey, Bob. You know we should have got the record today. Took the record and just picked it up. <laughs> yeah. Freaking jerked that thing up on there. That would have been overkill. <laughs> what are we doing with this? Dump it in the uh, back for now? Might as well. Might as well. A couple more projects to do. Yep. Before we work on this. Okay, Bob. Alright, so we made it back. Plan is to unload this thing right now. Then here in a few days or next week, we'll uh, tackle this thing and uh, see what we're going to do with it. We're going to fix that leak. Probably fix the diesel fuel leak in the motor. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. But uh, stick around in this video. I may have something, something special for this machine. You know what that is? Boat anchor? Boat, it ain't a boat anchor. It oh. fired right up and drove on the trailer. That's right. She's a classic. It's got good undercarriage. The guy welded some super sweet, tall grouser bars on there. I mean, you're going to want places with those. So, well, let's get it unloaded here. Then it comes with another bucket and a set of forks. So, she's a classic. You ready? Hit it, bub. All day. Ball sand. A dandy. Oh, this one's turbo here. It's cooling down. Uh-huh. You didn't know it, did you? Uh-uh. What's it? What, what do we got here, bub? Well, that holds your winch cable seat. Oh. It looks like a bungee strap holder, too. It's pretty nice. Yeah. That's Where you keep all your bungee bad. straps so it'll dry rot easier. Wall guards. And yeah. You're gonna make somebody a nice tractor. Yeah. Fancy. For sure. Fancy, Bob. All right, we'll be back in a few days, and we'll pull her in the shop and see what we got. And we'll let you guys know what our super sweet surprise is. Oh, come Stay on, tuned. surprise! We love you.
lake, Bob. We got a lake. Hey, Bob. Hey, it's leaking. It's got a leak. Just a little one. I was gonna lift the bucket up in the air so we could work on it, but I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> what do you see? I don't know. So we got bring that light over here. We got these steel lines that go up the boom. I'm gonna guess one of them's leaking. I don't know why I'd think that, but <laughs> Niagara Falls. <laughs> Probably rusted in too somewhere up under here. What are you looking like here? Why we why we got this Jeep? Could be. Which one's leaking Somebody in there? Somebody want to fix it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we can probably do. We'll figure out which line's leaking. We'll take that seat out. We can probably replace it with a rubber hose there. I'm guessing. What do you think? Yeah. We like that idea. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, they just go up there. All of them got joints? Yep. All right. So we ought to be able to take the steel line out and replace it with the rubber one. Call it good. We just got to figure out which one it is. We just need to fire it back up, bub. <laughs> <laughs> How about we get that uh, clamp loose here where we can get them raised up a little bit. Oh, okay. Then we can see. Okay. All right, found a leaker over here on aisle three, four. I'm gonna break my side loose, cause look at that. You see that? <clears throat> I did, I saw how. I might have done that off camera. Huh. <laughs> Is that the one? You got one bigger? One bigger? You mean this one and one fourth? That's right. Not to be confused with the fifth. Make sure you hold that inch and eighth because I think it's just like soldered on. We don't want to break it. it. Smells like rotten eggs over here. Probably ought to turn the battery charger down a notch. <laughs> I know that's not you. Uh-uh. I got my end off, what are you doing? Oh no. Is there any more clamps in between here? They're just free willy. I think it's just free willy. All right, we'll get that out and see if we can't make a uh, replacement John Deere line. You're an awful deep thought over here. Uh, right there, the big pit. Show everybody your leak. She's wore through, bub. Wore out. Done, done been overworked. Oh, I can see through it. Oh, yeah? You got light in there? Yeah, I can see a little bit of light. Huh. Must be the leak. <laughs> well, let's go see if we make a rubber hose. Okay. So this thing is... Hey, hey. Hey, uh, look out. Got a leak. This thing is old because it's just pipe thread. National tapered pipe thread. Before they had anything else. Here's a hole right through there. That's ought to be pretty easy to repair. All right, Kevin's in a super sweet measurement there. Found a couple fittings, just simple three quarter inch pipe thread. Put in the chop saw and cut her off. And then we need the green dies. We already got those in there. That's right. And blow the stuff out. Helps when you turn that lever on. We just gotta stick those in there and then give her the smoosh. Give her the smooch. Hey, you're stuck. Got it. Let's take a peek at, oh, that looks like factory. John Deere would be proud of us. 
Hey, you need to bend it 90 in there. Okay. So there these are is. pipe thread, and most people know you're supposed to put pipe dope or tape on tapered pipe threads, but if you look inside here on these style fittings, they have actually a 45 on them. You see that taper right there? So I actually seal up on metal and metal on there. Now, if we just using regular pipe fittings out of the cabinet for low pressure stuff, then you'd have to use dope on there. But since they seal up on the inside, you don't have to. Hope that makes sense. All yeah. I know is I want to get my side on first. And it can't screw you. Huh. There you go. Don't worry, I can get mine on pretty quick. No, we're gonna have to get the pry bar up here and put the heavy uh -oh. on this. We'll get her. Did you make it too long? No. Just right. It's old. But now we're going. All right. We'll get that dude tightened up. Get the uh, little keeper holds those lines back on. Get it tightened up. Put some oil in it. Then uh, we're probably going to start it up, get some uh, safety locks on the arms, and we'll take a look at that uh, diesel fuel situation. We've been showing Randy this nice piece he's going to have to clean up later. <laughs> look at this. This is We could probably sell this mold on eBay, Randy. What is this? Mold. Lichen mold? <laughs> yeah. It's been there for years. Blackened. <laughs> Just how I like my fish. I'll blow her off her. Randy would make it look pretty here after a bit. Hey, we need some hydraulic oil, Bubby. Really? I'm just going to assume that we need hydraulic oil. I mean, ah. what? Get this stuff out of here. Plan is to put hydraulic oil in it, make sure there are no leaks, and we'll fire up, raise it up, and take a peek at the old engine. A little better than the five gallon bucket we had earlier. I say earlier, what's it been like four or five weeks? Yeah, it's but been at I, least a month since I'm, you guys. I think I remember wearing this shirt that day too, because I remember sweating <laughs> right through it. Yeah, it's been like four weeks since you guys seen us a few clips ago, but I get it filled up. Hey, Bob, was... you're making a waterfall. Am I? <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> You left it was me. spraying. Hold the thing. It was spraying up through. There must be a baffle or oh, something. There's a hole out the side. <laughs> I was trying to do it myself. Unhold the camera. Don't be scared. Oh. Oh, that was nothing compared to what you did. I can't be full. There's no way, right? I mean, I guess when it runs over, it's full, right? <laughs> and how these old machines check. We don't know what this class is for. Notice it got sold in Lafayette, Indiana. Lafitte? Yeah. Back in, let me see what year this is. Well, I guess it's a 76 model. Hey, we got it full. Nailed it. Right to the top. I don't know if that sight glass is uh, working or not. We'll say it is. All right, you ready to see if it starts? Razor up.
I'll try curling. You just wanted to make more leaks, wouldn't you? I just wanted to see. Hey, it's hey. got a new starter on it. Does it? Yeah, it's green. Green. It's a brand new green wire. We need to get some uh, safety devices up here so we don't die. Ah. That's what uh, smart people do first. Okay. All right. All right. We've got an injection pump over here. There huh. might be one place for a leak. The other place it could be leaking is this little lift pump. Hey, look at this John Deere farm starter they put on here. That's right. It makes it have more power. Bub, you keep saying it's full, but it's not. Well, let's check it. Well, see, you're not doing it right. Oh. She got... uh, do you need a do you need a collar to put on there so it don't go down all the way? Yeah, but right there. Oh. See? Oh boy. Money. Take a big sniff of it. No, no, I already did. You're like three inches from going down. Oh yeah, she's a good what five inches over full. Yeah. <laughs> she good. What say quarter tank full? <laughs> this transfer pump doesn't look terribly old. 90% of the time it's the seals on this injection pump. Bad thing is we don't know exactly where it's leaking. But I'm gonna guess it's over here. This pump looks like it's been on here a while, Kevin. Mm. So uh, we'll probably get the lines busted off here. We'll get this out. And then there's a couple seals on the shaft. One faces that way and one back this way, cup seals. And they're kind of a pain if you don't get them put in the right way too, they'll leak. So we'll, uh, Get some stuff sprayed down here and try her out. That's a deep creep, bub. Did you get her? Help! You got lines in your way? I got a hog in mouth right. Come on. I may have to bend him a little bit more. You probably like an inch or so yet. There you go. Okay. So here's these two little seals. I'm talking about. Don't uh, spin that thing, whatever you do. Yep. So I always preach about putting these things in time before you take stuff apart, but these have a shaft on here and they're stuck on a gear out here. The only way you can get them out of time, you'd have to spin that thing 180, but we're not going to do that, right? Mason, you must be taking off a fuel filter over there. Hmm. So. You must be taking off a fuel filter. We got a fuel runner. Oh, yeah. So we got two seals here. This one here um, is supposed to catch the fuel from going back into the engine oil, and this one here is supposed to catch the engine oil from going back into the fuel. If a guy's not careful when you put these in, you can roll this one real easy like that, and uh, it will uh, leak on you. These things seem pretty pliable, so. It's not in very good shape. All right, Kevin's getting a copper washer. Mason's over here helping us. He got the uh, diesel fuel slash engine oil drained out, put a new filter and fuel filter on there. Um, we've got some new, I keep these little O-rings in stock. <clears throat> they're actually not O-rings, they're, um, I don't know what they call them, special little seal. 
They make a tool too. You can put them on without the tool, but man, the tool makes them so much easier. I'll show you guys here in a second. That basically goes around them. Um, last time we had a pump on our old 455E couple summers. That last summer? Summer before last. Seems like every summer we get a track loader. Area Diesel sent us some extra, extra seals there. They actually sent us a couple nice fender mats too. Hey, you want to get that paper it blew off? It had a little note in that paper in the comment section. Yeah. Hmm. I'll let you read it. Uh, what's it say? Ah, uh, we appreciate your support. That's not all it says. Oh, here's a couple of fender covers. That's not all it says. You need to keep reading. So Kevin doesn't scratch the paint on his stubby Ford. That's right. That's right. On Bob. the shorty truck. Well, looks like we know what we're doing next. <laughs> but uh, appreciate Airy Diesel. And you guys need anything, injection pump, turbos, Newer old stuff, they got you covered. So I know we just got a pump and stuff for a Duramax diesel the other day for a friend of mine. Uh, I don't Ooh. work on Chevys, but um, this thing seems to run okay. It doesn't look pretty. No. It doesn't. You don't have to look pretty to run okay. That's right. All right, I'm going to get these seals on here. We'll probably put a little bit of petroleum jelly on here to help lubricate those. And then we'll slide that pump back on. How you doing down there, Mason? All right, Mr. Mason's back here checking the final drives. We're going to get all the fluids and stuff checked out on this thing. plan is just to get it to uh, operate and good, running and working and everything. And then uh, we'll tell you what we're going to do with it here at the end of the video. So. Kevin's about got the pump ready to go back on. I got those seals on there. So this is a little tool I was showing you earlier. It's got a little taper on it. So we'll start it on there. We're going to kind of pinch that seal, hold it so it starts into this housing right here, put a new o-ring on there too and actually uh, put some grease on there. So, I'm all about to drop your bub. Oh, <laughs> I barely got it. You got it? Somewhat. Okay. okay. That was easy. Good thing. Okay. Need some dirt in there. Yeah. We won't tell anybody. Just oh, the oh, whole world. <laughs> All right, Kevin's gonna get that all put back on there. We'll get her blood out. I'll see if she starts up here. <laughs> all right, Kevin turned the fuel back on. Did you get her on there, bub? It was bub bubbles. Well, we probably need to go back over here to Mason Town. And you remember remember these little 916s? Nope. Bubbles. Bubbles. Mason put a new fuel filter on over here. Hmm. Hey, you wanna torque this aluminum plug in here? Um, you know what yeah. happened last time, didn't you? Oh, I, was, broke in your I was set up. Where's the little tickler at? Kevin's got a lift pump over there. We should be shooting fuel in. Sure, I do. Oh, I see it. You're doing a good job. So you're going to fill this filter up, bleed it out, and then it should shove it over. That line comes out of that filter and goes over here to the injection pump. Oh, you're blowing bubbles. So once he gets that filter full, this one will fill up here. That's what feeds the pump. That's just a return out of there, so. Hmm. Oh, now we're getting good. Good pumps now. Good pumps. So we'll probably run this thing, leave it run a little bit, make sure we're not gaining any oil. We don't want to do that, would we? 
I bet the inside of the motor's clean. Oh, there you're coming up here if you guys can see that. All my hard work's paying off. About time he did something. So he's got fuel out there. That's good. Now don't break it. Bub, I was set up last time. Oh, easy there, Bub. You got Niagara Falls over here. Diesel's cheap. Yeah. Oh, that's five eighths. Go ahead and give her a couple pumps for good measure there while I got this kind of loose. Oh, yeah. Purge in the air. That's what we're doing. All right, you can pump her a few more times there. And then uh, we'll try to crank her up here and see if it runs again. There you try her. Is that the dipstick there? Nothing to see here, folks. We'll get it started. We'll shut it off and get a... Uh, Mason's got it right on the full line. We'll get a uh, good point to go from on that uh, engine oil. Make sure it's not rising. Are you ready? Let's do it. You ready, Freddie? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's She got air in her bub. She's junk. You need a little dozer crack? Some of that air eliminator. Hey, look how old this can is. This is antique. Whoa, we Which could probably get good money out of that. Put that on eBay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Go ahead, girl. Come on. Take off. Crack some lines loose here, Bubby. What'd you say? It's supposed to have water coming out of the starter. Duh! That's normal, it's water Mason. cooled starter. It's green. It's a green starter. <laughs> you want to loosen some of these up? You think he believes anything we say? No. <laughs> Mason, this thing was sitting in the woods for about 10 years. You'd have water in you, too. You just ignore stuff like that. been around your dad too much teaching you good things <laughs> yeah stick around son we'll teach you all kinds of good stuff we'll learn you right we're just going to do three cylinders because those are the easy ones to get to you want to crank yeah. it over a little bit see right? if we're getting a few out of it keep going off here oh hey, hey, hey there's a wire missing hey it's right this there this thing goes on here and it goes click and opens hey, the fuel shut filter. your mouth <laughs> shut your mouth when you're talking to me oh my gosh i knew there was one last thing the people are just typing away right now on the keyboard in the Blasting. comment section <laughs> i'm like there's something ain't right here we're not getting hey fuel. you know what's wild what's that Is that thing's hey Ooh. on the ground what's wild is we're youtube mechanics hey we done learned you right today, boys. No extra charge for that one. I still got these lines cracked. You... All right, shut her off. <laughs> we got her now. You know that helps when you put that wire hey, on there. Always remember your wires. People learn from our mistakes. That's right. That wire don't mean nothing. Where the keyboard keyboards are just a smoking right now. That's all right. <laughs> We got big shoulders, thick skin. That's right. We ain't scared. Everybody makes mistakes. Somebody told me that once. Really? Yep. We can blame it on Mason. That's right. Mason, why didn't you put that on when I was using the bathroom? Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Ready? Fire it up! <laughs> scared you, bud. Oh, I thought we were going for a wide open.
got air in her yet. Three quarter can. Is that what it is? Three quarter. Alright. Um, what about this winch? Anybody want to touch the handle on it? Is it like one of those you break and you fix it? I'm not sure how this one works. Maybe you gotta select the input. Alright, seeing what's up with the winch, we hadn't checked the oil on it yet. What's it look like? You can see down in there maybe. It doesn't look bad. No. Hmm. I pulled the check plug out. It's right here. I'm going to put some uh, TH fluid in it and see what's going on with it. Sure. So this one's a little bit... I've not messed with these old winches very much at all. Um, the ones I always had just had a push-pull cable on them. I believe this one's got these hydraulic lines. It's probably uh, power in and out. I may be wrong on that. Somebody may correct me, but um, I don't think we're getting enough oil. There's a little hydraulic pump in there. You guys have seen us work on some of those other winches. There's a video coming out of us fixing a problem like that on a newer winch, but uh, yeah, it's got oil in there, so I don't know. You gonna top her off there, bud? Until she runs out the hole down here. I'm guessing with all that cable out, it probably quit at some point. Hmm. Oh, bud. Oh, yeah. You're full. That's not the problem. Hmm. Huh. That's not going to fix it, is it? Would hmm. you get a quart in it, maybe? <laughs> maybe a quart. Got about a half right there. <laughs> hmm. Well, we'll start it up here and mess with it a little bit more, but I don't know if she's going to work. I'm guessing we might have some issues with that. Um, I'll get a good baseline on the oil here. It's been sitting here for about 15 minutes. Right there, maybe the top of the little arrows, about 3.30 seconds over full. Right there, so we'll keep that in our brains. Check it out here after we run it after a while and make sure she's not adding oil. I'm gonna start this up again, Kevin. Maybe. What'd you do to it? What's going on in there? That gear spinning? to go back in. Maybe there's too much cable on it. There oh. she goes. Oh. <laughs> She's working. And goes and goes and goes. Let me shut it off. Hang on. I don't trust these old things. Let's get this big old knot mess fixed. Easy. Then we'll try her out here. Like our... All right, got the dog knot out. I want to fire up here. Maybe free spool it out a little bit and then we'll wander back in.
about that. Price just went up, bub. Brand new. It don't have to be perfect, it's just an old track loader. It looks yeah, good it enough. Looks a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. A lot better. We're gonna put the two engine side shields back on it here and then uh, get some pictures of it and we'll tell you what we're doing with it. Brand new. Got you can go it. home, Randy, you're all done. <laughs> we did check the engine Poor oil on Randy. it again. Poor Randy. Randy's never done. Engine oil is right where it was before. It's been running a while. Randy's been moving it and washing it and making it look all pretty. Ah! Scared me. That cat didn't get the memo. What was that? He's got a hoodie on today. Oh, and blue jeans. What is it, 90 already? Yeah. <laughs> well, there she is. So what we're going to do with this thing, we're going to stick it on eBay at a no reserve auction starting at $1. Well, even, I, even I'll buy, I'm going to win this sucker. So as soon as uh, this video popped out, uh, on Friday here at 3 p.m. the eBay auction went live so you guys are done watching this video here make sure you hit that like button all that stuff and subscribe for us so uh, you know what and don't be bidding against me because I ain't got a lot of money <laughs> you ain't got a lot of money <laughs> but yeah you get done watching this video go over uh, there's a link down below in the description you can go uh, check out the auction Jay and the guys are gonna get some pictures of it I mean do an operation video I guess I don't need to we've done did it but done operated so yeah, click the link down below in the description. Um, there'll be some more pictures of it there. You guys can bid on it. Um, we can ship this thing anywhere in the world, I guess, if you want to pay for it. So the U.S. is a lot easier for us. But anyway, it will fit in a shipping container, I bet. Might have to. But it's an old, old crawler. I can't emphasize. It's nothing nothing brand new. It's not the stuff that we normally work on. So the guy could take it and it may blow a hose out tomorrow. And it may run for two years and I have no issues. So. It's a pretty solid piece. It's not pretty. It's got excellent undercarriage under it. Um, that guy welded those grousers on there. It's got good good bushings yet. There's not much wear on the uh, bushings at all. There's some mud that Randy missed. Good roller sprockets. We do have that other set of forks that come with it in the beginning of the video, and there's another used bucket. Um, bucket's not that pretty. The forks are just a pin on, so you'd have to knock those pins out. Unless you're uh, creative like Captain Kleeman and make quick attaches for your backhoe. Have you seen oh, that? Oh, I saw that yesterday. You put yeah, a skid steer quick attach on there. Just, he's, he's, he's just hardcore. Fancy. This is, has his name all over it. So It really does. <laughs> when I put a picture up, you don't know how many people tagged him in it or said something about it. But uh, anyway, pretty hard to find a good little cheap tractor like that. It's got a winch on it, log arch. But uh, like I say, it is an old tractor, but it seems to all run out good. Only thing we've done, as you guys seen, we changed the engine oil, fixed that diesel fuel leak, checked the finals. They were good and clean. Of course, it's got new hydraulic oil in it now, but uh, transmission's got good clean oil in it. There's no milk or nothing like that in it. So, but uh, yeah, there she is. You liked the little video of us rescuing this thing from the weeds? Um, definitely hit that thumbs up button down below so me and Mr. Kevin can keep doing stuff like this. And uh, want to see more cool stuff? Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Right? That's right. What else? That's um, about it, ain't it? Oh, we're gonna be. Uh, uh, in Louisville, September, man, I didn't get the day. I think September the 26th through you the are? 28th or so. We've got a meet and greet. Are you coming oh, with me? It's, okay. it's during work, so I'm assuming you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be you there. Paid no matter what. I will be there but, for uh, sure. Follow our social media. Um, I think us, Let's Dig 18, Dirt Perfect, and Matt from Diesel Creek will be down there. Kevin may be down there. may take another guy or two, but uh, guys are in the neighborhood. That's in Louisville, Kentucky at the, uh, I'll try to put a little thing up here the Kentucky uh, Fairgrounds down there, but it's the uh, Construction Utility Expo down there. So that'd be a good time. And I think Hyundai's putting on a little thing, um, run the excavator. You can actually go against Dirt Perfect. 
skills challenge. Are you going to do it? Oh, I'll smoke him. You will, won't you? I will smoke him. He's just one Matter of fact, I will be dirt perfect. He's just YouTube certified, though, right? That's right. You're going to be dirt perfect. You're going to dress up <laughs> yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, just wait. Should be a good time, though. Hopefully, everybody comes out and, and sees us. So we'll catch you guys next time.